What do members of uh, President Trump's cabinet do when they behave badly? In previous presidencies, and I'm talking about all 44 of them, insults, open contradiction, public argument, and plain ignorant behavior on the part of presidential cabinet secretaries was, to say the least, exceedingly rare, and even more rarely, tolerated by the president. But President Trump, as we've noticed, does things differently. He's saying, it seems, to his wayward secretaries from time to time that he is big enough and strong enough to put up with even insubordination from, well, his insubordinates. Rex Tillerson is a case in point. He tried today to tamp down reports of a rift between he and Mr. Trump. The Secretary of State called the media together to deny reports that he was on the verge of resigning way back in July. Not a very timely argument, but one that Tillerson today decided to make. Tillerson wasn't convincing, however. He did even worse when asked whether he had indeed called the president a moron. I think it's the most important element of the article is to reaffirm my commitment to this role that President Trump's asked me to serve and to dispel with this notion that I have ever considered leaving. Could you address the, the main headline of this story that you called the president a moron? And if not, where do you think these reports are? I'm, just, are I'm not going to deal with petty stuff like that. Well, petty or not, uh, he was awfully close to the, uh, to the position of creation. Uh, and that means that Tillerson himself was the person, it seems, to have been responsible for the subject even being broached. And the president just days ago had to rein in Tillerson for trying to negotiate apparently with North Korea. And he tweeted that Tillerson is, quote, wasting his time. Defense Secretary Mattis, who was a star and some would say still is in the Trump lineup, not only contradicted the president yesterday, but straight away from his lane as he seems to do from time to time. Mattis just exceeded himself, telling the Senate the Iran nuclear deal is in our national interest. However, the president has not made a final determination on that issue. And as for the recently ousted Tom Price, Speaker Paul Ryan, who spent more time, it seems, working against rather than for the president, tried apparently to persuade the administration to keep Price despite his ethical issues and his failures in the uh, health care legislation. We have a president to be proud of, make no mistake of it. And the problem is, well, one of the problems is some of his cabinet members aren't acting well. What is the word? Secretarial. It's time for them to accord the president the respect he and the nation deserve. And the magic word here isn't please. It's now.